Hello there gamers, in today's video I want to take a look at how you can do reflections using only CSS. And so in today's video we are going to be making something that looks like this. What's going on here? Let's decipher the HTML first. So there is a scene and that scene has two main things. One is the sky and the other is the ocean. The sky itself has a few stars, it has the sun and it also has that little text, the hello world. And I've made it in such a way that it looks like the ocean is reflecting everything in the sky. But if you take a look at the HTML of the ocean, it actually has absolutely nothing in it. Everything is happening through one line of CSS. Let's take a look at CSS as well. There's a bunch of gradients going on. The sun has a box shadow that's giving it a glowing effect. And there's a little bit of Z indexing for the hello world, the sun. And there's also going to be some positioning that we're going to be taking care of. There's also going to be a bunch of animations in here. So without further ado, let's get into coding. So I have set up a basic project. In my projects folder, I have an index.html and an index.css. In my index.html, I have the boilerplate down with nothing written in it. And in my index.css, for now it's empty and we'll be putting stuff into it later on. Let's get started by making the scene. In here, firstly, we'll have the sky. So dot sky. And with the sky, we also have the ocean. So dot ocean. In the sky, we have that hello world text. So dot text. And in here, let's do hello world. And then we have the sun. So dot sun. And let's make a couple of stars. Let's do like 30. So star multiplied by, let's do 30. The ocean itself has absolutely nothing in it, so this is all the HTML we need. We will need some JavaScript that we'll be putting in our HTML, but that'll come later on. Right now, let's jump into CSS. The first thing we'll do is select all and set box sizing to border box. Let's also get rid of the padding for everything and set the margin to zero. Let's set the font family to Arial as well. All right, so I also forgot in your head, import the index.css by putting a link and that should do it. That's the final end of our HTML. Let's also create a variable for a time coefficient. So dash dash time and set it to for now, let's just do 10 seconds or two seconds. Coming to the scene, it will have a width of 100 VW a height of 100 vh let's set the position to relative let's set the display to flex and flex direction to column the sky and the ocean will have the width and height equal to each other so let's give them the common property by doing dot sky comma dot ocean Let's set the width of both of them to 100% and height to 50%. Coming to the sky itself, it's going to have a radial gradient and it'll also have a larger background size. So let's do that. Dot sky, let's give it a background color of hash BD4F6C. That looks good. Let's give it a background image of radial gradient. Let's set the circle at right. And in here, we'll be using three different colors. The first color is going to be this one. The next one is going to be something lighter. So let's go with D781 6A. That looks good. Now let's give it a background size of 400% on the X and 400% on the Y. Let's set the position to relative. And here's the part where the reflection happens. 
So what you want to do is set WebKit box reflection or WebKit box reflect to a few things. I'll explain exactly what that is. So the first property is the direction of the reflection. It can be above, below, and left and right. We're going to go with below. So let's do below. And then will be the offset. So if the image is right here, if the reflection goes down here, how much gap do you want between the image and the reflection? For us, it's going to be zero. And now let's give it a linear gradient so that our reflection has a transparentish thing going for it. And it fades away, basically. Linear gradient. And let's do transparent. And let's give it an RGBA of 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. 0.7 seems to do good. And that looks nice for now. Okay, let's set the display to flex. Flex direction to column. Let's do align items to center. And justify content to flex end. Let's also set the overflow to hidden. And we will be animating the sky. So I'll name that animation sky. So what you do is you write animation. You give the name, so sky. You give the duration of the animation. For us, it's going to be the variable time. So var dash dash time. And then let's do ease and infinite. This animation doesn't exist yet, but it will happen soon. And if you notice, the reflection has started to work over here. Coming to the ocean, this will also have a radial gradient. Uh, you can choose what you want. I'm just going to copy a preset that I have. And that actually looks very beautiful already. The next thing we're going to see assess is our text. So dot text. Let's set the font size to 3M. Let's set the font weight to bolder. Let's set the color to white. And let's also give it a very large Z index like 300 or something. Wow, that looks nice. <laughs> Coming to the sun, it's going to have a fixed width and height and we want both the height and the width to be the same. So let's fix one out and say width equals 15 VW and then height also equals 15 VW. Let's give it a border radius of 50% to make it a circle. Again, I'm going to be using a linear gradient for my sun. Uh, you can choose what you want or copy what I'm doing. This is what it looks like. Let's give it a base transform for the translation in the Y direction by 20%. So translate Y by 20%. That looks like a setting sun. Perfect. And now for the animation. Let's set the name to set. Let's set the duration to the variable time. So var dash dash time again. Um, this one also is infinite. And for the glowy part, let's give it two box shadows. So the first one is going to be 0, 0. Let's do 210 pixels and 100 pixels. And I'm going with a yellowish color, something darker, because this is going to be the inner one and the smaller one. So let's do RGBA 253, 143, and 54. Let's do 0 0.5. Let's do 0.6 instead. That looks neat. Let's make one more. So... You can give as many box shadows as you want. All you have to do is separate them by commas. So comma and then a new value. And for the new one, I'm going to simply change this value right here to 200. And then the color to something brighter. That looks like a beautiful glow. Coming to the stars. So star. Let's give it all a width of 0. 0.3m and a height of 0.3m as well. Let's set the background color to white. Let's also give it a z index of negative 1. 
and that way it's going to be always behind the sun and the animation we're going to be using is going to be called star so animation let's also give it a border radius of like 50 percent and there you have it they they're there and they look circular we will be randomizing their positions using javascript so hang on for that coming to animations first let's do let's do the sun coming out so at keyframes let's do set add zero and 100 percent let's set the transform translate to 0, 100 percent and add 50 to 60 percent or 40 to 60 percent let's do transform translate 0, negative 50 percent that's what it's gonna do now and that actually looks fine okay let's set the sun's width and height to 15 em instead of vw that way it'll be a little more larger and that looks perfect coming to the next animation which is going to be the sky itself so at keyframes sky at zero percent i want its background position to have no offset so background position zero percent for both values and at 100 percent I want the background position to change by 100% on the x-axis and 400% on the y-axis. So that way the background is going to be moving. That looks good for now. Let's move on and randomize the star's positions using JavaScript now. Make a script tag inside your body. The first thing we'll need to do is call all the stars. So we can do a query selector all document dot query selector all we'll call it by the class so dot star let's save that into a variable called stars and now let's loop through all of them and set their positions manually all you need to do is use the for each function and call all the stars in there and in here all you need to do is star dot style dot top equals let's do math dot floor math dot random multiplied by the windows inner width well the top for the top we're going to be doing inner height so inner height and the same thing for left but instead of height let's use width also to get as many stars in the screen as possible let's divide the height by two that way it will only happen in this scene and not in this scene okay for the star we also need to set the position to absolute and that way they can actually get distributed and we're technically done over here but we will also want to animate the stars to move around so let's do that now at 0% we want their opacity to be 100% so they'll be fully visible and as time goes on they'll be less and less visible. That will mimic how a day works. So at 0% let's set the opacity to 100% and at 100% let's set the opacity to 0%. And that works perfectly. Let's also make the stars move around. So at 0%, the transform translate will have 0, 0, so it'll start off without moving. And at 100%, we want it to go somewhere. So let's do negative 400 pixels and negative 300 pixels. And they're moving. Hell yeah. All we need to do now is adjust this to make it a little more slow. And that looks great. 
That will be all for this video. Let's summarize what we learned. So making anything with CSS is actually pretty easy. All you need to do is sit on your computer and keep Googling things. That's absolutely what I did for this one. So the WebKit box reflect property that came out is not available for all browsers. It just works on a few. So don't feel bad if it doesn't work on your browser if it's not Chrome. So yeah, that will be all and I'll see you in the next one. Subscribe, leave a like, I need views. So share it to your friends and stuff like that. And yeah, cool haircut. Bye.